Jesus, 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 Jesus. Starting with, um, we're in Lamentations chapter 3. It's very, very familiar scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Beginning at verse 21. Right. So this I recall. Somebody uh -huh. said this. Yes. I recall to my mind. Uh -huh. Therefore have I hope. Yes. It is of the Lord's mercy uh -huh. that we are not consumed All right. because his compassions fail not. Uh -huh. They are new. Somebody said new. new. Every morning. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. Verse 24 said the Lord is my portion. Save my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should have, should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And for a few moments this morning, we're going to talk about great is your faithfulness. Yes. Uh, you ought to tell yes. about great Praise. is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. Now, when we talk about faithfulness, we look at earthly relationship. Uh, right. Amen. A lot of times when, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and, you know, husband and wife and all that kind of thing, and, and you measure their commitment by how faithful they are all to right. you. All Amen. Right. Y'all got right. me? Okay. Yeah. You measure their commitment by how faithful they are to you. Yeah. And sometimes that faithfulness will be tested. Yes. Amen. Amen. So the commitment is tested. Uh, all okay? right. Sometimes things happen in marriages and relationships that test the faithfulness and the commitment of the relationship, whichever person it is, because there is sin in the world. Somebody says sin, and because there is sin, y'all ain't hear no eye. Things that happened in his life, the wrong things 
that he thought happened in his life. The tears he had to cry in his life. The nights he had to lay awake sleepless in his and, and all of these different trials and tribulations, that didn't cancel out the greatness of God. It didn't cancel out the faithfulness of God. It didn't cancel out the commitment of God. Because God is still faithful. Yeah, we're going to go a little, go through a little something. something. Amen. But it is nothing compared to the agony that Christ suffered. It's nothing compared to the suffering that Christ suffered. If he could do all that for me, why would I think that I'm not going to go through everything? You know, some people, they, they get it kind of twisted, amen, and they think that because we Christian and you come and join the church and, and, and everything going to be la da da and you know everybody, no, that ain't going to happen. Amen. You're going to have some stuff that's going to go on. Why don't we just be truthful, amen, in some of these places? Tell the truth, amen. When you join the church and you come from over on this side to the other side, oh, baby, it's going to get a little bit hot. Oh, yeah. Amen. You're going to be saying, uh, I don't know none of y'all say, but you were better when I was over here. You know, I could have stayed over here. But when you get to read, when you start reading your word, when you start hearing your word, then you find out that the benefits you got over here far outweigh the benefits that you had over there. Because over here, you got eternal life. Ah, over here, you got salvation. Amen. Over here, you got the blood of Jesus. Over here, you got the Holy Yeah. I 
house and you up like that. And I'll be like, and I'm gonna sit down and I'll be all right then. I will satisfy. And I done got you told, but you know, I'm just real. I can't stand behind this pulpit and act like I've been saved all my life. Because I haven't been faithful. I haven't been committed. But he's been faithful to me and he stayed committed to me. And when I think about how he could have just snuffed me out. Just like that. How he, you ever think about that? If, if he'd have snuffed us out in the nightclub. If he'd have snuffed us out. But if he'd have snuffed us out. Us because y'all weren't with me. Um, if he'd have snuffed me out when I was chugging them wine coolers. Amen. If he would oh, snuff oh, me oh. out when I was sipping on that E&J. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you yeah. mean? Uh-oh. Oh. Amen. That must wasn't your drink. Amen. Oh, if he would have snuff me out when I was sipping on gin and juice. Oh, if he would have yeah. snuff me out when I was in a car full of folks that were drunk. Amen. If he would have snuff me out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was in somebody's bed I ain't wasn't supposed to be in. Oh, oh, glory oh, to God. Not a 
relationship. Come on, man. Come on, man. If you're not in a relationship, you can't say that. That's man. Because you don't have the ability. Amen. Of being in a relationship with an ever loving God. And I, I don't know why. He loved me. I don't know why he loved me. It don't make no sense. Because if somebody did you like I've done him, they wouldn't love us no more. Y'all know people that broke up, like, you know, from unfaithfulness. Y'all know people that broke up and they don't even speak to you no more. Amen. They talk about you like a dog. Amen. They see you in the street. They just walk on by, look and give you that little look and keep on walking, you know. And then if somebody bring up your name, they just talk, oh, he ain't nothing. Okay. And then, they got, then you got to tell the whole story again. But God, I haven't been faithful. Oh, I haven't been committed. Sometimes I wasn't even thinking about him. Sometimes he, I wasn't even studying about going to church. Amen. Sometimes yeah. I didn't go to church. Yeah. Hey, I was. Sometimes I didn't want to leave the song trainer. Amen. Yeah. And then praise the Lord. Oh, look at him. Amen. Right. Ain't that right, Pooh? Sometimes they look over there, be playing the little music. I be like, mm mm. <laughs> We're not doing that, you know. But he was faithful. Yeah. He was still faithful yeah. to me. He was looking at me, and that mercy was covering me, Shay. That mercy was covering me. He said, now look at her down there acting fool. Uh -huh. They want her to sing the song. And yeah. she gonna be talking about, uh-uh. You know, you know, and the, and the Holy Ghost will heal him. He will convict you real quick. Like, yeah. And they have to go apologize. I had to apologize to Don. I said, I'm sorry. I should have just did what you should have obeyed and did what you had to do. Amen. Uh -huh. I should have did what you asked yeah, of me. Yeah. And because what he asked of me is not what was asked of Christ. All right, all right. He didn't ask me to shed no blood. Come on now. Ain't nobody asked me to shed no blood. Ain't nobody asked me to drag a cross up a hill. Drag a cross? What you talking about? We ain't doing that. Amen. So ain't nobody asked me to do something that I didn't want to do to save somebody else. All right. All right. All right. Ain't nobody asked me to do that, Miss Tammy. Amen. And all he asked us to do is obey. All right. Over repent. Confess uh, and obey. Uh -huh. And we're either the good or the lamb. Yeah. Amen. Don't you want to eat of the good or the lamb? I like yeah. to eat. Amen. Y'all can see. I like to eat. Praise God. And I like to eat the good of the land. I don't want to eat nothing that's going to make me be sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. That's a whole other sermon right there. Yeah. You have to write that down. Write that down, too. Amen. <laughs> you don't want to be eating nothing that's going to make you sick. Uh -huh. And I know if you are here, yeah. if you are here right now, you have a master chef right here. Yeah. And you got some chefs up under him. They sous chef or whatever they call yeah. them. But you got somebody that's serving you up a meal All every right. Sunday. You got somebody serving you up a meal on Wednesday. Anytime right. they get up, he's serving you a meal. If you meet him in Walmart, yeah. amen, he's serving you up a meal. So there's no excuse. Tell your neighbor there's no excuse yeah. for you not to be where God intended you to be. There's no excuse for us not to do what God asked us to do. There's no excuse yes. for us not to be sitting up and be talking about, I ain't doing that. I don't feel that. I ain't led to do that. He ain't not one leading you. He led your pastor. You follow him. Yeah. 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 I ain't led to go over there. Do that. Name on the paper, Lord Jesus. I, why you got me saying this? You come in the nice people church, Lord, that person. Oh, Jesus. But when he says, Great is thy faithfulness, that means it's extraordinary. It's, uh, it's marvelous. It's unlimited. There's no way you can measure his faithfulness. Now, we got that. We can measure ours. Because we'll say, well, I'm going to be faithful as long as you're faithful to me. Uh -huh. Amen. Y'all ain't never saying that? Okay. All right. But we'll be faithful just as long as you're faithful to me. We'll be faithful as long as we get something out of the, you know, the deal. We'll be faithful as long as it look good. You know, we want to we want look good. You know, oh, we matching today. You know that. <laughs> That ain't been more faithful than a man in the moon. Yeah. Amen. But when we look at, when God looks at us, and he love us beyond our yeah. faults. Yeah. He love us beyond our mistakes. Yeah. He love us beyond our mess ups. Yeah. And he said, oh, we can say great. Uh -huh. It's not faithfulness. Yeah. Because when, God, when Israel, they act the fool. Y'all know, y'all know. 
we act, and I think about America being the same way. Just yeah. cutting the food. Yeah. You look at the TV, they cut the food. People in there marching, and they was in there talking about abortion is health care. I'm like, no, it ain't. You know, I'm looking at these people, they marching. They got a whole bunch of people because the world's understanding yeah. is not the Lord's yeah. understanding. Yeah. The word tells us to trust in the Lord with all. Yeah. With all, not part, with all. Oh, yeah. Lean not to your oh, own understanding. Yeah, yeah. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will do what? He'll direct you. And I believe that's why some of us, oh God, why some of us just wandering around spiritually and don't know what we're doing. We don't know where to go because we done heard this over here and then we went over here. They heard this over here, and you went over here and said, oh, I heard this over here, but we're looking for somebody to say what we want to hear. Yeah. That ain't what the word of God is. Yeah. The word of God is to instruct us in our holiness. Amen. It's to rebuke and to reprove yeah. us so that we'll know where we're going wrong. Yeah. Amen. And that's because he's faithful to yeah. us, and he wants us to have the things yeah. that he has. Yeah. Did y'all know that? Yeah. God wants us to have the more. God wants us to have the good. God wants us to have the best. But we got to be Hallelujah. as faithful to him Hallelujah. and as committed yeah. to him yeah. as he is to us. Lord. Somebody say, great is thy faithfulness. Is faithfulness. And in this era, yeah. or in this season, uh -huh. I've never seen so many broken people. Y'all may know somebody broken. Y'all yeah. may be one of the broken. Yeah. But it's so many broken people that and I, I, I watch TV, y'all. I like to watch, um, um, what is that book? That thing we watch? Smugglers. Amen. To catch a smuggler. And, and I feel so bad for the people, you know. <laughs> I feel so bad for the people because they've been fooled. They've been fooled and they think this is an easy way to make money. But here you are on TV. And they done went all through your luggage. You know, and some of them even ingested the little pills yeah. and, and they can see them on the thing. Yeah. I'm like, broken people yeah. making the wrong decision. Yeah. Broken people yeah. in the wrong relationship. Yeah. Broken people doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing yeah. because we're broken. Yeah. But did you know that our God, great is yeah. his faithfulness yeah. and he's committed yeah. to putting us back together yeah. again. Yeah. Amen. I used to sing a song about Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Y'all remember that song? Yeah. And Humpty Dumpty had a great fire. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put them back together again. And said, I was like Humpty. Oh, Lord. Was y'all like Humpty? I was like Humpty. Oh, and I sat on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a church wall either. Oh, yeah. I was like Humpty. Oh, and I had a great fall. Oh, oh, and all the king's horses. Oh, oh, all Jesus did it. Jesus did it. And how many of us can give him the credit? Because he was faithful when we weren't faithful. He was committed when we weren't committed. And he did what nobody else could do. And they might have tried, they might have loved you, and they wanted to put you back together again, but they couldn't. If I could have put myself back together again with some tape and some, some staples and some... You know, duct tape or something. You know, I would, would come in here looking like a whole mess. Yeah. And they said, where's she going? Uh -huh. Where's she going yeah. with all this stuff on her? But Jesus did. Yeah. And oh, yeah. if you look close enough, uh -huh. Tracy, you may see some scars. <laughs> Baby, you may see some scars. But he put me back together again because he was the only one that could. He was the only one committed to making me whole and keeping me whole. But this ain't a one-time job. Amen. He got to work on keeping me whole every day so I don't go off on somebody. Amen. He got to work on keeping me whole so I don't cuss nobody out. Amen. He got to, we were just talking about that nine back there. He got to work on keeping me whole. So I don't be trying to get my nine. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He got to work on me. Yeah. And if you allow him, uh -huh. if you allow him access, yeah. somebody said access, yeah. to them places we done gave other folk access oh, to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. We done gave folk unauthorized uh -huh. access uh -huh. to the places that only 
God is supposed to have for us too. Right. And then we wonder what's going on. Well, what's going on? You know, and the Lord will tell you, and then we we'll be talking, it ain't God, it ain't God. And it's God. Because he'll show you if you ask him. The word says if you seek him. Yes, seek him. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Yes. He will let you know what you need to address. Oh, yeah, he will. You may not want to address it. He may say, apologize to that sister. You know, that don't mean <laughs> We'd be like, no, I was right. She was wrong. You know? <laughs> she was wrong, Lord. You know, and we be having these, y'all don't ever have no kind of conversations, but I do. I be like, uh-uh, no, Jesus, no. That's a hard thing to do, you know. And, you know, they ain't going to apologize to me. They need to apologize to me, too, then I apologize to them. But we have this, this thing that goes beyond. We think we got more reasoning than God. We think we got more sense than God. But when he tell you to do a thing, you ought to go ahead and do it because you don't know the next moment that may not be promised to you. Amen. And people be saying, to them, I ain't promised today. The rest of the day ain't promised to us. Amen. So we got to do this while it's yet day. Because the word said the night coming. When no man can work. Amen. We included in that, so we got to do it now. When he said now. Oh, no. Amen. Now he gave me this other word. Woo, Jesus. He gave me this other word. Result. The result. Now, they cut a fool. <laughs> like we all do. You know, like our children cut a fool. Uh-huh. But we don't turn on our children uh -huh. because they done cut a fool. Right. We don't throw them out. Well, sometimes. But um, I'm just saying, we, <laughs> we ain't going to say, well, that ain't my child. You know, you done cut a fool, you know, too much, you know, and cut off. You know, sometimes that happens. But we have to look at those relationships in light of what the word said. Because God could have cut us off. He could have shut the door. He could have he just turned his back like this on us. And he, we could, he wouldn't have heard our prayers. He wouldn't have done nothing. But because God was so merciful, and because he was so faithful to us, we got to go the extra mile sometimes. Because somebody went the extra mile with us. Amen. I know, I know my mama went the extra mile with me. Woo, baby, I know that. So I have to go the extra mile with somebody else because you don't know where that person is in their walk with God. You don't know where that person is even walking with God. But you going the extra mile and being obedient to what the Spirit of God says, that can change that person's life. Don't you know sometimes we got somebody future in our mouth? Amen. Instead of talking about them, we ought to begin to speak life in them even if they don't understand what you're doing. Huh, glory to God. But the result will be something that's glorious to God. The result is going to be something that glorifies God, something that somebody's life, God is going to get the glory out of it. Amen. Because when you're down, oh, you call on Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All day, all night. Amen. Then when, we get, when he deliver, when he come through, then we forget. But the word said this. <laughs> I recall uh -huh. to my mind. Yeah. Therefore, I have hope. Yeah. Because he did this. Uh, I can count on him to do that. Yeah. Because he delivered me back then, yeah. I can count on him to deliver me right. now. Yeah. And this is what I recall to my mind, Rudolph. I recall to my mind, I said, he did it then. Yeah. And the kind of God I serve can do it again.
Therefore, I have hope. Because I remember what you did before. Oh, my God. Can anybody remember? Y'all ought to give God a remember prayer. You ought to give God a I remember. I remember when. Oh, hallelujah. I remember when. Glory to God. Put my glass back on. Oh, Lord. And Kirk called out a song called I Seen Him Do It. My Lord. And one of the lyrics, y'all are listening to that too, that's a good song, uh, said, how do I know? Because I've seen him do it. All right, all right. So how do, you, how do I know he can deliver? Right. I've seen him do it. Right. How do I know that he can heal? Yeah. Ah, I've seen him do it. Well, glory to God. How do I know that he can save? Because I've seen him do it. How do I know that he can deliver? Because I seen him do it. And if you haven't seen him do it, keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. You may have missed it when you somebody else did it, when he did it. But keep looking. Because he can do it again. Uh, give him a again praise. Oh, glory. Oh, Lord have mercy. John say, look at him. 
in the fifth verse. This then is the message which we have heard of him. Uh -huh. ah, we've heard it, okay? Uh -huh. And declare unto you uh -huh. that God is light. Uh -huh. And in him is no darkness at all. Uh -huh. If we say, talking about this relationship, uh -huh. we have fellowship with him uh -huh. and walk in darkness, uh -huh. we lie uh -huh. and do not the truth. Yeah. But, somebody said but. but. If we walk in the light uh -huh. as he is in the light, uh -huh. we have fellowship one with another. Uh -huh. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So that's how we need to get back to. We need to crawl back, hop back, step back, all the run back, wherever we need to go. We need to get back to where we were in Jesus Christ. Because things are not going to get any better. Amen. Things are going to get worse. Don't y'all see them? Amen. All this stuff that's happening. I don't like to watch the news because I... I yeah, my heart gets so yeah. discouraged and, and, yeah. it, and it hurts my heart when I see people going through stuff, when I see babies and children being hurt and you know all these different things, it hurts me, it hurts me so bad. But God, my Lord. but God, nothing has gone wrong because he said in his word this would happen. Yeah. Yeah. He told us in his word this yeah. would happen. Oh, yeah. But we saints of God. All of us saints of God, we need to pull up our big girl panties, amen. Pull them up, amen, and stand on his word because his word is unfailing. We can stand on his word, amen. I don't care what the world say. I'm going to stand on what God say. I am. That's not popular these days. Because they'll call you a holy roller. Oh, yeah. Why you got to bring? Why you got to bring Jesus in this? Yeah, yeah. You know why you got? To, you know why you got to be talking about this? You, Cause that's me. I, I don't have no other way. Amen. To, you know to talk in the kind of way. And if I'm somewhere and somebody tell me about some good news, I'll be like, oh, bless the Lord. Yeah. You know, and if that offend you, that's too bad. That's right. Because bless, I bless God because it's through Him yeah. that you was able to get whatever you got. Glory yeah. yeah. to God. Yeah. And the Him say this. It say, great is thy faithfulness. Oh, oh God, my Father. Uh, Not just your, uh, my yeah. Father. There is no shadow yeah. uh -huh. of turning yeah. with thee. Yeah. And this part here, thou changest uh -huh. not. Uh -huh. Thou compassion, yeah. they fail not. Uh -huh. As thou hast been, uh -huh. thou forever will be. Y'all yeah. ought to give him a praise right there. Thou forever. He ain't gonna no change. And this other part, part of the sin, God have mercy, and a peace that endured. Thine own dear presence was here to cheer and to guide. When I messed up, when I was clowning, thine own yes. dear presence All right. was here All right. to help me, yeah. yes. Lord, to cheer and to guide. Strength for today. Lord, hallelujah. Hear this word again. Bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings are mine. With 10,000 beside. He's still going to bless us. Uh -huh. We done cut up, but he's going to still bless us. Just like we do our church. I ain't buying you nothing. And we're not going to McDonald's. And we're going to end up McDonald's. Amen. You end up somewhere you said you will not go. I ain't buying that. But you end up Ross. Okay. You end up in a place where you say you weren't going to bestow the gifts. And there you are again. But that's just like God. Yeah. Ain't that just like God? Yeah. You know that's a song too. Y'all have heard that song. Ain't that just like God? Amen. That, ain't that just like God to do what his words say? Ain't that just like God to forgive us when we don't deserve to be forgiven? Ain't that just like God that'll heal us when we have got our own stupid self and some stuff? And then it's a great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. Yeah. New mercies I see. All I have needed. Y'all know all, all include all. You know all that we needed. Yeah. Amen. Thy hand uh -huh. has provided. Uh -huh. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. And I just look at, I'd be looking at that and I'd be like, Lord, have mercy. Why do you love me like this? And I don't never understand how he loved me uh -huh. like that. But I'm so glad he does. Uh -huh. Aren't you glad he does? Yeah. Oh, you ought to give praise. Give him some praise for loving us. Yeah. And my other girl. Amen. Yeah. 
Oh, I got one that's over. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. My other girl, and I hope I get to go see her. She said, I love you, Lord. For well, your mercies never fail. All my days have been kept in your hands. From the moment that I wake up. <laughs> Until I lay my head yeah. down on that little pillow to go to sleep, oh, yeah. amen, Hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. And then she said, I love your voice. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you. I love your voice. Yeah. She said, you have led me through the fire. Yeah. Yeah. You have led me through the fire. Thank you. I don't know what your fire is. You don't know what mine is, but he has led me through the fire in darkest night. Yes. You are close like no other. Amen. And I can be in the bed with my husband, he's closer than that. Thank Amen. You. Words that he's close yes. like no other. Hallelujah. I know you as a father. Uh -huh. But not just a father, I know you as a friend. Yes. And I will sing of the goodness yes. of God. Hallelujah. And then the sister go on to say, all my life, oh, you have been faithful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. And all my life, you have been so, oh, yeah. so good. Hey. With every prayer. With every prayer that I am able, Hallelujah. I will sing of the goodness of God. Thank I see some you. people that know what I'm talking Thank about. Well, I will sing of the goodness.
trust in me. And trust in me again. How many are really glad that God is faithful to us? He said, I'll be with you always, Thank you. even until the end. So how many are glad for God's faithfulness today? Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. Today is a good day. Thank you. Grace and truth.